Now, the CFA franc is under significant political pressure. Some praise the currency for its stability and others denounce it as a colonial hangover. Currently, the benefits and the drawbacks of CFA currencies are being more hotly disputed than ever before, with research suggesting that the franc stimulates huge capital outflows and due to the fixed exchange rate regime, pushes that money towards Europe, often France. What you should know currently is that 11 out of 14 CFA states are deemed the least developed nations by the United Nations and sub-Saharan member countries fall at the bottom. Niger is one of those and with the current anti-French coup taking place, the CFA franc is still in full force and as it stands, voices calling for the abandonment of the French back CFA franc used in Western Central Africa seems to be growing louder. I can't give you the date, but the willingness of everyone is already there. Psychologically, with regards to the vision of sovereignty and managing your own money, it's not good that this model continues. It is now really necessary that this currency be ours so that we can, when the time comes, make this currency a convertible currency and a currency which allows all these countries which still use the FCFA to develop. We have the ability to mint our currency however we want. The CFA francs today is paper. In two years, it becomes a rag, you can't even use it. France is one of those countries that by printing money for 14 African states prevents their economic development and contributes to the fact that the refugees leave and then die in the sea or arrive on our coasts. The initial sentiment was that France is using the CFA franc and the franc zones as a means of keeping a glass ceiling above African societies, with many saying that Africa cannot develop as long as France continues to see the continent as nothing but a tool to enrich France and advance France's global political influence. And these sentiments are also voiced by many African elites. You know, the currency issue is political in nature, because the currency depends on economic policy, which in turn is determined by the government. But currency management is a technical issue. What I noticed about the African franc is that it has many fans, and that the analyses done are biased. Therefore, today we need an empirical, scientific and unbiased analysis that would determine whether this currency will achieve the set economic goals, in particular those related to monetary policy. And most critics point to the fact that the CFA franc countries are poor and say it fails to stimulate trade integration between user nations, which means this is driving countries further into poverty. I consider the CFA franc as a colonial currency. It is still under the influence of colonization. So if we want to get out of this framework, we need to have our own currencies. You see, development always starts with the economy. If we are still under colonization, in any case, it will be difficult for us to develop because they will always have a weight on us. So that is a concern. I think it's a real break on the development of West Africa, because when we look at countries that are not from West Africa but still in Africa, and which have other currencies which are even more developed than ours, there are still problems. The CFA franc is made in France and is clearly a way of plundering us. CFA franc doesn't even benefit us. On the international market, you can't talk about the CFA franc. Why is that? You have to take your CFA franc and convert it into euros before buying on the international market and it's not taken seriously at all. Now the controversy and reform discussion is nothing new. Even before the current crisis, the CFA franc zone was to be reformed. In December 2019, French President Emmanuel Macron and his Iberian counterpart Alassane Ouattara proclaimed the end of the CFA franc. However, the currency reform slowed down before it could even gain any momentum. It is unclear whether the ECO, a replacement of the CFA franc, will be introduced in 2027 as announced earlier. Industry experts say that debating the merits of the CFA franc is like discussing the advantages and disadvantages of slavery, a pointless argument, they say, something that keeps colonialism alive and millions in poverty. For RT, I'm Nolu Vyokunge in Johannesburg.